So this is quarter one. Quarter one is designed to take students from just beginning to learn about the design process through learning how to sketch and then creating uh, pieces using software to create three-dimensional objects. It provides a, a variety of different projects and choices as we go through the first quarter. And you'll notice that the first three projects, you know, the, the one on engineering design process, sketching and the 3D solid modeling and fabrication with the nameplate holder are required projects for all because that does the introductions. When they get through with the nameplate holder, then there's a choice of three different projects. Each one will take a different amount of time, although they're really set up to take the same amount of time, but uh, students will find they can dig pretty deeply on any one of those, but it gives them a choice and it gives the teacher a choice. Then students are uh, assigned something called the shower cat or caddy rendering, and then we get into table driven parts. And if there's time enough, we go into a packaging design where students explore, you know, proponents of sheet metal. So the very first project, this engineering design process, is designed strictly to teach the design process where research fits in and how they document the whole thing. So it's an introduction to the process we want them to follow. The deliverable is a the ability to keep a piece of paper in the air the longest. So they're going to do some experiments. We want them to uh, come up with several different designs and time how long they stay in the air before they hit the ground. So they get a chance to go through the whole process, you know, dictating the parameters of everything. And, and that'll prepare them later on when they start digging into some really uh, complex mechanical solutions of things. The next project is uh, in sketching and documentation. So we want every student to be able to take a pencil and create sketches. Uh, so that they can communicate ideas with, you know, other members of their team or with clients or anybody else that, that is interested in, in the designs that they're working on. So students learn orthographic and isometric sketching and you know, various components with that. And then they present sketches at the end. The nameplate holder is the third project in the first quarter. And it's, they're basically designing something that's going to show their, their name and hold a couple pencils. Uh, those are the only requirements up front. They're gonna form their teams and then they'll sit down and decide what they want on their pencil holders. Once they figure out all the, the various details, and uh, lately I've seen a lot of people add a cell phone holder uh, with holes in it so they can snake in a power supply and recharge the cell phone while it's sitting you know, on their desk, uh, they'll be able to you know, use it as a video screen. So they have all kinds of things that they add to it. And when it's all ready to go, then they uh, are introduced to 3D printing so they can actually have a solid model of what they've designed. The next group of projects uh, you're going to see uh, say select one of three. And what this does is allow students to have a choice. So the first project is to design a regulation chess set. So students have to research what chess sets are all about, who plays chess, go interview uh, chess players and figure out how to design a chess set that somebody would like. And so uh, the team can then split up and each team member can design different chess pieces so that it all comes together to make a set. The second possibility is uh, designing a sports drink container in, in Solid Edge uh, with the use of formulas to allow for the original shape to meet 
you know, different volume requirements. And so what this allows them to do is to, you know, discuss how these things uh, all go together and what kinds of things will they have to design. The third uh, choice here is called the kitchen tool design. So they think about what it takes to use uh, various things. Now, uh, you know, they might have a uh, family member with arthritis, so they can, you know, maybe design a bottle opener. Uh, so basically they're getting into ergonomics and, and why the ergodynamics are so important to uh, handheld kitchen tools. Once these are done, then we go into something called the um, shower, caddy, shower Caddy Rendering Project. And it basically is a design for a shower caddy. The real purpose of this project is to introduce the concepts of photorealistic rendering. So they learn how to present their designs in ways that really um, make the presentation come alive. So, um, and, it's, and it gets them thinking about, well, what do we need to carry and, and how are we gonna carry it? Then we have uh, table-driven kitchen measuring instruments. So they learn how to use Excel tables and import those into a design program. So with a single change in dimensions, we can change how much uh, a container will hold. So if you think about a, a one cup, a three quarter cup, you know, a half cup, a third of a cup, and a quarter cup measuring, uh, they would all be uh, scaled depending on what you wanted to hold. And the final project in quarter one is a sheet metal uh, uh, project, and it requires students to pick a sporting goods product or a ball and design a package for uh, the, that particular product. And what this does for them is they starts them thinking about, well, why do we need packaging? So in this case, it's a tennis ball inside a, a cubic shaped uh, container. It's got display windows and, and it's important to know that you can get degrees in packaging science. So students are exposed to, well, how do packages go together? What is, uh, all the relief that needs to go in so corners don't tear. And there, there's a you know, whole host of things that they can research when they come up with this. And that's quarter one.